And lastly, Hypersonic isn't canon. It's been repeatedly stated that Supersonic is Sonic's strongest form, and Hypersonic has only ever been used in one game by Classic Sonic. And on top of that, Sonic doesn't have regular access to the Master Emerald or the Super Emeralds. Cool it, bro, cook! What in the goofy was that? First of all, Hypersonic was never stated by Sega that it wasn't canon. Ian Flynn himself, the writer of Sonic currently, he said himself, Hypersonic was supposed to be in the end of Frontiers, but Sega shot them down. And then he talks about the power scaling. It's like when you make multiple forms, you make the others irrelevant, like the first transformation, second and third, but I think that's a bit bullcrap. Oh, oh, and I literally have proof about it. Oh my god, I wish I could <laughs> let him cook because that'd be delicious. <laughs> and don't get me wrong, I want to see Hypersonic. Yeah, um, I mean, we all do. I thought it would have made sense for the final fight in Frontiers and tried to make my case, and that got shot down. Uh, in previous episodes, I've explained the dangers of the power creep, and I understand that. I do. It's honestly funny when people try to debunk Sonic. You know, it's really dumb because Sonic is very, very strong. Like, look back at all of the gods he defeated, Solaris, uh, Time Eater. Uh, do we consider the, the end? It's just a rock, but who cares? Perfect Chaos, Dark Gaia, e Eraser Jin, yeah, and um, Merlina from Sonic and the Black Knight. Yeah, all of those guys. Um, actually, I consider the end the god because, uh, they literally took Sonic to turn it into Cyber Super Sonic, dude. So, yeah, the end is probably stronger than Solaris. So, yeah. Who is the strongest, Solaris or the end? Uh, I might make a video on that. Comment down below. But I'm still gonna make it in any case. This guy always claims that Sonic always needs help for the final boss. Then explain Cyber Sonic vs. The End, you goofy. Sonic destroyed The End alone. But, 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 but Eggman helped Cyber Sonic to shoot him out of the cannon into the end. Yeah? So? Cyber Sonic literally damaged The End. Alone, Sonic destroyed The End. He did not need help from anybody. He did not need help from Shadow or Silver. Sonic in Sonic Forces said that he gets stronger every second. Infinite was stated to be the strongest Sonic villain out of all of them. And Sonic beat him in base form, making base Sonic probably out of Versal. Because Infinite is the strongest Sonic villain stated by Eggman. So, Infinite is stronger than Time Eater, Solaris, all the other villains I've stated. Now, Infinite doesn't have to do ridiculously crazy feats to prove that he's the strongest villain. Infinite created the sun! Eggman in the IDW comic stated that the Phantom Ruby is far more powerful than the Master Emerald, and Sonic beat him in base form. Not to mention Sonic escaped Null Space, a dimension where nothing exists. Think about it, Sonic needed help for Solaris, but this time he didn't need anybody's help. He did it by himself. Sonic defeated the end with ease. Thanks to the Master King Coco trials, where Sonic got training from the Master King Coco. Now enough about me talking about Sonic needing no help for the end and Sonic's base form feats. Well, uh, a handful of these base form feats because I was only going through forces and frontiers. But this is not a video about Sonic's feat. It's about whether if Hypersonic is canon or not. Like I said in the beginning of the video, Takashi Izuka stated that the Super Emeralds are in a different dimension, just like Blaze's world where the Soul Emeralds are in a different dimension. If it wasn't canon, why would they bring it back in Sonic Origins? This is clearly saying that Super Knuckles is also canon, since that form debuted in Sonic 3 and Knuckles along with Hyper Sonic. Knuckles himself stated about Super Knuckles in Sonic Frontiers. Here's the clip. Not bad. 
Things would have been over faster if I'd been super knuckles. You did all right. Yeah, you keep telling yourself that. Falsely claiming that Hypersonic isn't canon, it is absolutely a lie. Knuckles literally has flashbacks about Sonic 3. I could go on and on, but the video would get too long. I already debunked little bro statement. Yeah, 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 I heard enough cap already. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment down below, and let me know if you want me to do more videos like this in the future. Goku out.